we're fascinated by these animals. The world became fascinated by Tiger King. And then we kind of forgot that this is inhumane and they're in captivity. Let's face it, no one like me or like you is equipped to keep a tiger. It's not good for the animal and it's certainly not safe for the community. These are intelligent, complex, wide-ranging animals with very diverse behaviors. Not also to mention that they're incredibly dangerous. Currently, there are 19 states that outlaw private ownership, 26 others that regulate it in some way, and then the rest of the states have no meaningful restrictions whatsoever. There is no federal law that regulates whether or not a person can own a big cat. All of these laws together, they seem like a pretty good combination, but strong laws are only as good as their enforcement. Government officials are just unable or unwilling to enforce the laws that are on the books. Several species of big cats are listed as protected, but there are loopholes. It's, you know, social media, it's, it's influences interacting with big cats, both as cubs or as adults. The cub petting industry has created a large surplus of captive tigers because by the time they're three to four months old, these tiger cubs can no longer be handled by the public. The cubs that age out are discarded. When the Big Cat Public Safety Act is passed, the end will be in sight. We'll have light at the end of the tunnel.